Hey, just doing a quick video on what's on my iPhone 5S. Um, this is being recorded on a uh, HTC One M8. I don't know why that took me so long to say. So, I mean, beginning from the front, this wallpaper I got from the Faucets app. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm, I'm, no one's ever really said it. I've only read it. So, anyway, starting from the beginning, uh, these are all stock, 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 stock. Um, YouTube app. Um, that Yahoo weather app is actually the one I've replaced with the stock one that I have. Uh, I just I find that it's gives more informative than the other one, and it's the only free one, so it gives by the hour of the days, precipitation and whatnot, and uh, when the sun will rise and when it'll go down. Uh, your Google Plus app, Pulse. Now, if you don't use Pulse, Pulse is mainly the way I use what what I use to get news about anything. So going into here, uh, you can do it up to you make a you know a certain channel, name it something, and then add sources to it. it, it kind of like um, the Blink feed from the the one, and I mean that's really the closest I can compare it to. But I have one called Android, and it's it pulls sources from Fandroid and the mobile, Android Central, Droid Life, Community, Police, Atlas, Ultra Links, you know, all these guys. And you just kind of scroll through here at stories you like. Um, you hit one, I'm actually take you. You can read about it, but you know that's mainly my main source for news. I also have it for iOS. And, and the iOS one, <laughs> most of the time, is not too exciting. You know, there's not really a lot happening in the iOS world unless there's, like, a, you know, like a really, really good game or a good app that everyone's got to have. But for the most part, this is probably the most boring one I look at. Uh, I also have a tech one that's for just tech in general, like Google Glass, computers, uh, new inventions, or just science in general. And then I have one for UFC, you know, I'm a big MMA fan, so uh, a lot of the stuff that, uh, you know, I, I hear about or the how I keep the date is all on here, so that's Pulse, that's that's an app that I have to have on all, all my phones. Uh, Facebook, TweetBot is my Twitter client, and by far is the best one on iOS, uh, the one I use on Android is Phoenix, but on this one it's actually really, really good, you know, I, I like it a lot, a lot. Um, <clears throat> next you have your regular Instagram, your Vine. You know, I I just love Vine for the f hilarious videos that I see. If you go on here under my profile, uh, that's actually a video I did. I actually went to UFC 171 here in Dallas. So I mean, th these 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 videos. If you're ever having a bad day, man, just go on Vine. I promise you, you'll find somebody to make you laugh. This app just every day makes makes me laugh, makes me want to show other people, and you know it's, I, think, I think it's really good. <laughs> That's from uh, J uh, Skyrim, in case you don't know. Okay. <laughs> You know, so uh, go moving on. Uh, I also use eBay a lot to get accessories for my phones. Um, man, it's just so so cheap on here. Uh, you know, if you, I used to use Amazon until I found this, and it's just ridiculous. Some of the stuff that I've been finding on here, like uh, like these cases or these cables. I mean, look at the prices on here. It's just you know three ninety eight for that thing. Oh, these are the cases I ordered from my HTC One, by the way. Three ninety eight for those ultra slim ones. That's crazy it was moving on snapchat um i don't use snapchat that much but you know i just have it just in case my friends want to send me something uh moving on originals these are all the apps that i just came with the phone that i can't delete and you know i'm stuck with and i just gotta keep on here twitter you can actually download but you know i just i put it in here just in case i want to keep the original fantastical was actually a, a calendar client that i downloaded when the before 7.1 update to ios because uh, i hated how you couldn't touch on a date and it would show you you know the remaining day but they fixed that in 7.1 so now if you touch on there it'll actually tell you down there uh 
you know what uh what it is you're doing for that day and then finance i just have all the stuff i pay for and whatnot games um jetpack frontiers temple run uh clash of clans i'm like level nine town hall uh flappy bear i'm at level 62 uh, i don't really play tiny wings that much nimble quest um I'm at like level six. Uh, I'm not too sure. Candy Crush. I'm like level fifty nine. I'm mean, really low. I mean, you know, I, these are really just time killers. I'm not. Re I don't really concentrate too much on those. Apple is just you know anything related to them. Uh, my wallpapers. Uh, the one I've been using a lot lately is that Facets. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Facets, and that's actually a dollar on iOS. But man, these wallpapers are really really good. It goes by months, as you can see there. And then you just pick on the ones you want. And for iOS, you 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 know you pull up if you want to save it or pull down. If you you could actually buy these from the guy, and uh, he'll paint them up for you. Or however he does it, and mail them to you. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So going back down here, it's art. Uh, art is usually they had iOS seven based wallpapers like you can see there, but it hasn't been updated lately. You know these are been sitting there with the same ones for a while. So I'm not. I don't use that one too much. And Wallpaper Fix <laughs> is actually one I've been using because before, I 7.1, when you would put a wallpaper, it would zoom it in like crazy. So now in 7.1, they've actually fixed that. Oh, I got a delivery. They've actually fixed that by, you know, you hit zoom off. When you hit zoom on, that's what it, that's what it did before. When you hit zoom off, you can pinch it in and that's how it'll appear, which is what everybody wanted and they finally did it, so... Uh, I probably don't even need that app anymore. I probably don't even... Where's that? I probably don't even need that one anymore. Uh, news. Uh, the reason I don't have Pulse in here is because Pulse is the one I use the most. These are just the ones I kind of go over if I get bored of Pulse. <laughs> Dripler kind of shows you new news based on the phone you have. That's the Star Telegram for Fort Worth where I live. iMore is iOS News. And then, of course, Flipboard. Uh, my photographies photography apps is uh, that one i have for collages insta size i have if i want to post a picture on instagram but you know how instagram only gives you like a certain box size so insta size will shrink the entire picture so that the whole thing fits in there and you can post it snap still so you can take pictures of <clears throat> of a video so if you go in here you can actually take a picture of the take a picture within the video and keep it in there so uh, vignette is so that you can upload custom videos to your vine account so you know if you recorded something but you didn't record it through the vine app you can use that to upload through there i don't use that too much camera plus i just add i used to like kind of edit photos a little bit if uh, i want to use a certain filter that they don't have on the regular ios system afterlife kind of the same thing Vine down is what I use to download vines. Uh, the way it works is go in here. So let's say... I thought that was funny. <laughs> like all these are coming out of nowhere. <laughs> so you go in here. Oh, I'm sorry. You go into this. And you hit uh, more options. Copy link. And then you move over here to that vine down and go in there and paste it and hit download and just if you do a lot just pay attention to what it says after the v so this one's mvh so you go on into here look for the one that says mvh and you hold and you save it to your camera roll and it'll be in your photos right there so that's pretty cool um and you got around me. I used to use that if I if I'm like somewhere like somewhere in Dallas or somewhere like I'm not familiar with, and I want to go eat or I want to know what's around there. My 24 because I have a membership there. Uh, I use Messenger instead of the messages in Facebook. Apps gone free is pretty cool. It's uh, every day it gives you a push notification of apps that have gone free that are paid for that day. Uh, so like, these might have been yesterday because I think I've seen these. Yeah. So, you know, it shows you how much they were, how much it's rated and whatnot. It'll also give you, like, previous dates. Where is it at? Oh, and you could also suggest uh, for apps to be, you know, bumped off because sometimes the app itself will pay for an app for people to download for free. Uh, most of the time it's just a dollar. They won't go past a dollar. Uh, you got Shazam, your friend check. I used to just <laughs> see who follows me, see who unfollows me. Uh, I don't really hold... Um, 
you know, grudges against anybody. I could care less if they follow me or not. You know, if if they're my friend, if they're my personal friend from school or whatever, you know, there's, we're still going to be friends. So yeah, it doesn't bother me too much. I just like to know. Uh, Turbo Scan is for documents. Uh, Flickster is for movies. Mobile Learn is a Blackboard app I use for college. Deliveries is um, what I use to track all my, my mail I get from eBay or Amazon. It's, it's not that the app doesn't work. It's just sometimes these guys don't um, put the their shipping information doesn't come out right. Because all, all this app is doing is pulling from the actual website. So uh, Comedy Central app is actually really cool. They just made it. It's only on iOS. You can actually watch full episodes of uh, your favorite shows that are on there. So... The only thing that sucks is it's not on uh, Android because then I could, you know, watch uh, South Park on my TV instead of on this little screen. So I love to watch South Park, though. That's like my favorite show. So you just hit on one of them. Like, that was a good episode. And you just turn this way, and that's it. And then you start watching them full stream. And Black Friday. Okay. Well, you got Craigslist, Dictionary, uh, Park Wiz is uh, if you need to park somewhere, it kind of finds your location and then it gives you, you know, places around you that you can park at. Uh, I'm not I'm not anywhere near. I'm in a neighborhood area. But if you were to go somewhere like Dallas, I think, uh, you know, <coughs> excuse me, it'll tell you like how much it is and whatnot. And you got Meme Factory. Uh, I use I make a lot of memes. Redbox, um, you know, I think movie theaters, unless it's a really good movie, uh, it's not really worth spending all that money for, so we'll Redbox it. Music download, I don't use that anymore, you know. I used to, but, you know, I think I, f I found a new appreciation for developers and for artists, so I buy all my music now and all, all my episodes and whatnot, unless I can stream it for free legally, but uh, I actually don't use that anymore. Translate is, you know, just in case. You never know. Battery Life is an app that kind of makes your charging more proficient. And um, I'm not sure if it really works, but, you know, it was on sale the day I got it. Geekbench 3, Speed Test, Uberfax, that's actually new. Fitstar, uh, just to do some exercise at home. Moves, that went free when Facebook bought it. And I'm not sure if it's still free, but... That's that's actually really cool, and it works really cool with uh, the iPhone 5S's motion sensor. And then I got Fitness Pal. Sometimes I track what I eat just to, um, you know, make sure you're not overeating. Uh, so that's about it that I can think of on here. Yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching.